Hey everyone, Hundred Shadow here, and welcome back to Crush Crush. So previously I went through the Spring Fling event, or whatever it was called, and we met Abby. And yeah, it's like I'm still way behind. But however, I did say in the last video, if I were to go in order it'd probably take me a while to get to Abby, but you know what? I think I'm gonna actually go through with her now, since why not? Dare I say why not? Besides, how, you, how can you say no to this face? Alright. Oh, that was weird. Haven't seen that in forever and... <laughs> You're enjoying a calm day outside, working on your new bee-friendly garden. Maybe a little too friendly. Suddenly, you see a girl making a beeline for you, and oh my... All these puns! Peace and quiet crushed! Well, what do you know? I think this is one of the only other times we get crushed. We didn't have to do anything! Honey! I'm home! <laughs> Just kidding. We've never met before. I am moving in, though. That's quite an entrance to make. Ah, oh, sweet home. Sweet as a beehive full of honey. Which is what I'm going to build. Right over there. I'll hail the queen. People take a bow. Show me that you love me. Okay, well, we know where she stands. Well, at least she's not like some kind of, well... Actually, I think Juliet would probably qualify as a Himedere sort of character, and... Good lord, I have to go... Yeah, I have to go scrolling a lot just to see her now. Okay, well, so here we go. Age 21, birthday May 7th, keeping busy, Hemolymph. I still don't know what that means. Favorite job, legal. Honey, I would have been surprised if it was anything else. Flowers, worker bee, motivation, and bee. And once again, I'd be surprised if it was anything else. Hey! Don't you know you're not supposed to swat at bees? Just stand really still and let me check out all the colors and scents you've got going on. Okay? Is that what bees do when they get close to you? Yeah, because I'm just thinking of this one time where... My aunt, my mom, my cousin and I were in a room, right? And I know this sounds like I'm setting up a joke, but... There's a point to this story. Randomly, this bee comes in... And then... Yeah, my cousin and my mom kind of panic and they leave the room while my aunt and I are just kind of sitting there like... Yeah, let's just... Make sure we don't annoy the bee, and, you know, we'll be fine. Anyhow. And, yep. I'm not gonna do the thing I did in the last video, don't worry. But anyway, let's talk to her. I just came from a suburb. You know the type. HOAs, cookie-cutter houses, unnaturally manicured lawns, as far as the eye can see. Bluff. Anyway, I'm so Starving. Ooh, is that a patch of red clover I see? Okay, I guess now it makes sense why she asked if we came from a suburb. And I don't know what red clover is. Love what you've done with the place. It's an absolute oasis. Ooh, look at all these colorful flowers. Purple, blue, and ultraviolet. My favorite. Oh yeah gonna be happy here. <laughs> Is it just me or does she have kind of like a valley girl kind of twang to her? Like it's an absolute oasis! Like oh my god! Like that's kind of a little bit of what I'm picking up on. I didn't get to pick up on too much in the spring fling event. What's your favorite flower? 
I'm hoping it's got the same as mine, so that I don't have to share. Not that I wouldn't share, but it would be nice not to have to. <laughs> you have no idea how much I wanted to resist saying, Mine's chocolate. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, and well... I think that was another point of contention that I was seeing on Reddit. Some people were complaining that I love Abby's design, but then I heard her speak, and now... Which... I don't know, I mean, so far I'm okay with her. At least, yeah, so far. Love what I just came from... If you need any productivity tips, I'm your gal. First and foremost, a honey-do list is your best friend. The less popular honey don't list can also come in handy. How do I do that? I don't know. Okay, well, let's give her something. Huh. Are you absolutely, positively, 100% certain there are no pesticides in, on, or around this? I'm pretty sure they don't allow those on the beach. If they did, well... Then we'd have some real problems, wouldn't we? Especially with the water. Anyhow. I'm Abby. Be nice to me, or I'll sting ya. Sadly, it'll hurt me worse than it hurts you. So let's hope it doesn't come to that. I guess because the whole thing of if a bee stings you, it loses a stinger and it dies and yeah so I guess that would be painful anyway tell me about yourself what's your name do you like jazz there's that voice clip <laughs> why specifically jazz though and now to acquire a taste for freeform jazz mm, you're not allergic to pollen are you because I'm pretty much always covered in it. So, let me know if you want some antihistamines, I guess. <laughs> My treat. <laughs> yeah, and we won't have to worry about Cassie taking the last of them from the store. Okay, does she say anything brand new? Please accept this housewarming gift. It's a bottle of mead. I know I'm the one who moved in, but... I figured I'm here, whether you like it or not, so the least I can do is try to be a good cohabitant. Yeah, you did kind of force yourself in, literally. So, the least you could do is try to make it up to me somehow, right? Being a bee isn't always the easiest, but I try really hard to stay optimistic. After all, even flowers have to grow through dirt. Yeah, I guess so. And there's nowhere to go but up. Nowhere but. What the? You unlocked Abby. She's a bee. A bee? Okay, well. Good to know that. I wouldn't have guessed. What's your favorite flower? <laughs> Behave yourself. I'm fragile. And endangered. Ah, yes. That is a thing. And then... That's right, she laughs like that. Bee-hee-hee. <laughs> and oh, behave! What's your favorite flower? <laughs> Are you a... <laughs> I have an idea. We should build a deck. Picture it. String lights, cozy chairs, a hundred planters filled with the world's most delectable flowers. Mmm, what a smorgasbord. Can I put up like a tiki type of cabana thing over by the side? No. I know you didn't technically say yes, but we are doing this. <laughs> I love group projects! Indeed she is so happy. And yeah, technically, well, in the old days of the game, like way back in 2016 and 2018, you did used to have words here, but now it's just an ellipsis, so I don't know. I'm a bee, I'm a bee, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bee. 
I don't know if that's a, an actual song or something. Abby is your frenemy. Don't get stung! Or else you will die. Okay, no. Well, something bad will happen to her, and we don't want that. Hey, Pierre. A P I A R Y. Apiary. <laughs> Look at me. I'm a spelling bee. How many bee puns are we gonna stuff into this episode? <laughs> well, I haven't really made any bee puns myself, thankfully, but. I mean, she's doing all the work for me, so I guess I don't need to. Being a bee is an op. Hey, P. How's my hair? Do I need to. Honey, comb it. <laughs> of course, I'm only tall on your leg. I don't care what my hair looks like. Anyway, if it tangles too much, I'll just get a buzz cut. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> See what I mean? It's like it practically writes itself. I don't have to make up any beep puns. Although, yeah, I'm pretty sure this will be buzzing in my head for a while. Hey, Pierre. <laughs> Behave yourself. Well, I'll be. Not too shabby for Abby. Thank you. My god, the puns. The pun levels are off course. Or, off course. They're off the charts. But pretty soon, I guess I will be going off course. <laughs> oh, wow! Did you see that butterfly that just fluttered by? She was so pretty! Uh, I wonder what it's like to be that pretty. To live in a world where no one's afraid of you. You clearly haven't seen the wormy episode of Spongebob then, have you? Oh great, is this like foreshadowing? Are we gonna get a butterfly girl next? Which I actually wouldn't mind! I'd actually be pretty down for that. Cause, well... Technically speaking, we had fairy girls with butterfly wings. Them two, specifically. Back in the... The Valentine event, but I mean, otherwise... I guess we haven't really had that. Well... If you're listening, Sad Panda Studios, yeah, why don't you try making a butterfly girl? Make that happen. Or a ladybug girl. Or if you really want to get crazy, you can make a spider girl. Not the superhero spider girl, I mean. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> yeah, which will be interesting because, as most of you know, spiders freak me out. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> Man, I love a good hexagon. Well, you kind of have some hexagons going on right here. Peony, for your thoughts? <laughs> Actually, I'd like to keep the peony if that's okay. But I still want to hear your thoughts. What if I trade you this weird little copper coin I found on the ground? Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's usually how it works, right? Hey, Pierre. <laughs> what you been up to lately? Keeping busy, I hope? Working hard? Not hardly working. <laughs> I work hard for the money. So hard for the money. I work hard for the money, so give me lots of money. Oh, you actually have a lot of jobs. Wow. I just became way more invested. Tell me everything! Now I ain't saying she a gold digger. Well, hopefully she's not. <laughs> like, you only like me because I have like 50 jobs at the same time! Like the freaking Zamphoni driver! That was the bane of my existence back in the winter event. I want to take you back to my hive and make honey with you. Wait, that sounded like a pickup line. I'm not that kind of bee, I swear. Let's at least have dinner first. Oh my god, Abby, how could you? What kind of guy do you think I am? 
Yes, at least buy me dinner first before you tell me you want to take me back to your hive and make honey with me, which sounds totally not... Yeah. Let's not think about that too much. I really like tigers, zebras, and burglars. Look the stripes that do it for me. I don't like wasps, though. They might be stripey, but those jerks can suck my stinger. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and... Well, don't wasps and hornets not get along with bees? So I guess that kind of makes sense, you know? I don't float like a butterfly. I float like a bee. I also sting like a bee. So maybe I'm not as sweet as you think. Huh? How about that? <laughs> I was just practicing my tough chick shtick. What do you think? Are you buying it? With a smile like this? No, I'm sorry, I'm not buying it. I don't buy it! Apiary. Oh, <laughs> careful! If you startle me too hard, I might poke you back with my pointy hand. <laughs> Okay, well, we have a new... New expression for her there. And so far, it doesn't look like she's saying anything different. Hey, pe I re peony. Hey, Pierre. <laughs> Behave yourself. I'm fragile. And endangered. Yep. So, I guess... Oh, wait. Give her a shell. Well, I'll be... I'm so glad I decided to befriend you! Wait... We are friends, right? I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have assumed... I've made a total behind out of you and me! <laughs> okay... And I can't believe I'm doing this! Oh! So you do see me as a friend? Phew! That's a huge relief! Togetherness is very important to bees. You're officially stuck with me. Thank goodness, I feel so honored. No, really, but... Yeah, I'm just kind of here like... <laughs> I mean, at this point, what would we be? And... Ugh! Now you have me doing it! I can't believe I'm doing it! Being your friend makes me so happy! I'm sure I could fly, even if it was aerodynamically impossible. Which it's not, BT Dubs. Obviously. BT Dubs. I think that's one of the first times I've heard it said like that here. <laughs> or is it? I don't remember, but... Let's <laughs> say so you're in the friend zone with Abby, or should we say friends... Okay, no. And here she is. Well. Yeah, I don't think that's technically a reference to the secret word song. Because in that song, it's every time I... Every time we... Er, every time we touch, I get this feeling. Every time we kiss, I swear I could fly. We haven't gotten to that point yet! And... <laughs> just seeing it spelled out here... Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. She wants Bee Witch Jam and a bunch of pie. Off the... Right off the bat there. Okay, well, let's see. Let's talk to her. Look! Looks like you've got a bit of pollen on you. Let me just brush that off and... Wow. Um... You feel nice. I... What are you doing? Bee... <laughs> Did you ever hear the one where <laughs> a worker walks into a <laughs> and she says, <laughs> I can't. It's too funny. <laughs> it's a what? What is it? Now we'll never know. What? I wrote myself a theme song. It goes like this. Ahem. I want to be where I belong. This is my song. What do you think? 
Uh. Oh no. I was exploring your house earlier, and I found the conservatory. I couldn't believe that. A full indoor garden just for me to spend the winter in? I. I love it so much! Oh, I feel so loved! I think I'm gonna. cry! Well then. <laughs> I didn't even know I had a conservatory. Or either it's... Or maybe I did and I just forgot after all these years of playing this game. <laughs> I was exploring... Do you like my knees? Not to bumble my own humble, but I've been told they're pretty great. Bumble her own humble. That's something new. <laughs> I'm fragile and endangered. Okay, now she's kind of. Why are you winking at me like that? Okay, well. Okay, let's give her pie. Oh, this looks delicious. It is a flower, right? Sometimes I get a bit confused. No, this is pie. Alright, well. Time to see this picture again. I don't usually go out at night. I'm a little bit scared of the dark. Also, I get sleepy. But it turns out a moonlit stroll feels pretty romantic when you're accompanied by someone you really like spending time with. Yeah, someone that you like so much that you just look at them like this and... Yeah, I'm just... I swear, it's like, when I saw that the first time, I'm just sort of like, WHAT IS THIS FACE?! <laughs> like, yeah, for real, Netflix and chill. And she gives you this look. What do you do? Okay, well, I guess let's move along. People tend to get really tense when I'm around. It... it stings. I'm just a friendly, curious little bee. Why is it so hard for them to see that? People are, are often afraid of what they don't understand. You're different, though. You're not the type to judge a girl by her yellow jacket. It means a lot to me. So, thank you. For being so willing to get to know me for who I am. Yeah, because after all, maybe we shouldn't judge people before we get to know them, right? <laughs> Huh? N no I'm not sleeping. I'm just hanging out. Happy as can be. Although, a power nap in a tulip does sound tempting right about now. Okay. She wasn't sleeping with her eyes wide open, was she? <laughs> I'm still thinking about that. I'm like, how does that work and... Beverly Lover, that's interesting. Well, <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Well, I guess bears and honey. I guess it makes sense. What? Looks like you've got a bit of pollen on you. Have you ever thought about wearing stripes? I bet you'd look real cute in them. Okay, I'm not going to scroll back up to Peanut right now, but... I still remember the thing that she said back then about how stripes make her look. Well, specifically, something else. Hey, um, did I see you chatting with a bear earlier? Or, like, a, a girl who looks like a bear? Is she nice? I guess if you can trust her, then I can try to as well. <laughs> so she does actually make some kind of comment about Beverly. Well, <laughs> who knows, would they get along? I have no idea, really. <laughs> Why do birds appear whenever you're near? I suppose, just like me, they want to be 
cloak to you. Unless they're here to eat me. Oh, honey sticks. I really hope they're not here to eat me. Mm. Yep, that song. <laughs> you know, the close to you song. Well, hopefully they're not. Well, I mean, technically, she's kind of a bird. Well, she's a harpy, but that's probably about the closest we'll get to a bird girl in this game, unless they decide to straight up give us a bird girl in the future. Meanwhile, yeah, I'm still waiting on some of the other bug girls I was talking about. Hey, um, what? I wrote my. Hey, um, I wrote. Why do. I wrote myself a theme song! You're getting much better at being gentle with me. It would make me really happy if you. you know. kept practicing? Um. okay. That isn't vague in the slightest, and... Okay, she doesn't say anything new, so... Let's see. Oh, this looks delicious! I used to hate going to the beach. People can be so rude. I mean, why wear a floral swimsuit and fruity sunscreen if you don't want bees up in your bugnas? Anyway, today was different. I had a really, really nice time with you. And yeah, that's pretty much almost exactly like the the one from the Spring Fling, except of course, yeah, without the marshmallow ducks in the in the pond, in the in the water there, and all the flags. And yeah, see, now I can see the beehive better. But I don't know. I mean, <laughs> eh, let's not tell her. Do I like you? Maybe... Maybe not. You never can tell with bees. <laughs> Are you saying you don't like me? Pazinga! <laughs> I'm teasing! Honestly, just being around you makes me giddy! Of course I like you! Okay, good. Also, I feel giddy! You know, I think you're one in a bazillion. Yeah, I know there's no such thing, but sometimes real words just aren't enough to describe a feeling. And that's why you have to make it up instead. And also, yeah, that one didn't have any puns in it. Well, then again, I don't know, what, how would you say? You and Abby are awkward beasts? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I guess maybe they couldn't come up with a pony, so... Anyhow. Abby has a crush on you. How sweet. Oh god, look at all those magic candles there. And... Alright, well. Let's see, does she say anything brand new here? A simple majority vote is no basis for a system of government. Which is why we bees live in a dictatorship! A self-perpetuating autocracy in which the workers and the queen... What? Why are you looking at me like that? Because no! Wait, you know someone whose name is Honey? <gasps> That's unbelievable! I need to meet her! Please, can I meet her? Well, that doesn't depend on me. That depends on whenever the people at Sad Panda finish with her, and... Yeah, I'm... I'm still wondering, yeah, which version of Honey are we gonna get? Are we gonna get the older, mature Honey, who seems to be a widower? Or the one from the 90s, which slapped me in the face and made me angry that one time? I guess we'll see. Or imagine they do something where it's like you can choose which honey you want. <laughs> like yeah, I don't know. Like you start off with honey as you know the mature mom. I'm not gonna say the other thing. 
And then, like, in between, it's like, you get some kind of magic item that's like, Oh, wow, it lets me switch for ages! Like, Ocarina of Time, except, yeah, we don't have to worry about a sword or whatever. Anyhow, that went off course there. But, yeah, I, I don't know when we're going to get to see her, so... Can you take a rain check on that? A simple... I met the most beautiful silver-haired moth the other evening. She invited me to go stargazing with her, but I was so sleepy I just came home and went to bed. Hmm, looking back, I wish I'd taken her up on the offer. I wonder if I'll ever see her again. Is this foreshadowing? Are we going to get a silver-haired moth girl? I kind of want to see how that would turn out. Well, it almost seems like they... Like, they're kind of laying it on here. Like, I wonder if I'll ever see her again. It's like, you're just tempting fate. Do you want some more honey? I need way too much. Okay, well... I want the most be... Do you want... Wait... You're getting much better at being gentle with me. That was the best day ever! There were so many beautiful flowers! And that honey latte drink thing... To die for! But the best part was seeing your smiling face every time I turned around to look at you. Kind of like the secret word, but not quite. <laughs> okay, well... Yeah, so she didn't say anything new, so I guess we're almost done here. Uh, you're so sweet! I just want to eat you up. But I'm not edible. Nor am I on the menu. I need to tell you something. I'm... not really like other bees. You see, I'm a bit bigger. I'm supposed to have five eyes, not two. And I don't even have mandibles. I'm sorry. I thought you deserved to know. Well. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, I've been lied to. I've been cheated and lied to. You used me, Abby. You used me. Okay, no, I mean. Kind of obvious, but... Eh, what are you gonna do? At least we're being honest. You mean... This doesn't change how you see me? Oh, my heart's a flutter. I was afraid I'd never find a sweetheart like you. But it turns out, all I had to do was... Be myself. <laughs> You're gonna kill me with all the bee puns, Abby. <laughs> Kissing you is the sweetest thing. Like sipping nectar from a wild flower on a sunny day. I can't stop thinking about it. The way she's looking at me though, I guess you can tell she's can't she can't stop thinking about it. Abby is your sweetheart. Okay, the Bee Witch Jam again, and then, okay, we're getting there. Every day I spend with you, my heart is getting fuller, brighter, like it's blossoming into something new. Is this what it feels like to be a geranium? I don't know, you, well... I was almost here like, you, can you ask them? I don't know. I don't know how they feel. Mwah! Why do you taste like sugar? Mwah! 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 Oh well, I'm not complaining. Mwah! What? <laughs> Did I just drool on you? Uh, sorry, let me kiss it better. Mwah! <laughs> Man, you... <laughs> Abby, control yourself! <laughs> Jeez. And yeah, it's like... <laughs> that whole thing again, really? Hey, um... Am I doing a good job? At the romancy stuff, 
I mean, I'm sort of just winging it. Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess that's not exactly a wing or a wing pun. Well, I mean, yes, it is, but it's. I was gonna say it's not exactly a bee pun, but yeah. I don't know. I'd say you're doing a good job. Maybe a little too much, but fine enough. Oh, this? <laughs> it's my happy dance. Bees dance to communicate, you know. And right now, I'm telling you how much I adore you. Oh yes, I remember that episode of the happy er, the happy school bus, the magic school bus. I don't know why I was saying happy school bus. <laughs> That's something completely different, if it exists. <laughs> but yes, I remember that episode. <laughs> Stop! You're making me do a waggle dance for no reason! <laughs> okay. You're getting much better at being gentle with me. It would. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> he can't see without his glasses. <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, well, <laughs> I think we're almost done though with this level. <laughs> I wasn't looking for a sweetheart when we met, but. Spending time with you has been the most amazing experience of my life. All I want is to keep on building this relationship up, Buttercup. Are you with me? Oh my god. She almost said, well, the song is Build Me Up, Buttercup. But, <laughs> well, I guess that would have been a little too on the nose there. Well, I'm definitely with you all the way. Together, you and I are like a tiny gang. Or a tiny workers union! <gasps> I'm gonna get us matching tool belts! <gasps> okay. I would have liked matching jackets, but okay. Hiya, honey! <laughs> I've always wanted to call someone honey. Doesn't it sound sweet? Oh, God. 43 Mystic Slippers, aka the most expensive- or Wait a minute, is it still the most expensive thing in the game? Yes, it is. And it became more expensive, if I remember right. So... <laughs> it's a good thing I've got... the advantages of having played this game for I don't know how many years on my side. Okay, well, let's see. Do you say anything brand new? If you ever can't sleep, let me know, and I'll sing you a traditional lullaby. Fair warning, I've never been very good at remembering the words, but I make up for it with how great I am at humming. Alright. I guess it's better than just trying to make up words. Like, if a star- er, that pfft. If a fire starts to burn, there's a lesson you must learn. Something, something, then you'll see. You'll avoid catastrophe. Yeah, see. Not that, not too helpful now, is it? Mwah! Sometimes, I feel insecure. Will you hold me and tell me I'm pretty? Then I'll know it's true, because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. You're really laying those puns on. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you kind of are pretty. So, although, yeah, I guess something about pretty girl dressed as a big bumblebee. You might as well work at the Honeybee Inn. Let's be real. <laughs> You'd fit in just perfectly over there. <laughs> Much 
much better at being gentle with me. Yee! This is amazing! Oh gosh, I'm literally buzzing with excitement! <laughs> Alright then. And looks like we're almost done here, so... Let's go ahead and... I wonder, will this make any sort of dent here whatsoever? I fall and feed over wings for you. I'm no Queen Bee, but I hope I can be the queen of your heart. <laughs> you know, well, technically she didn't say anything about being a Queen Bee. Unless we count the beginning part of this, but... That's probably, like, one of the only other things that she hasn't said otherwise. At least out of some of the most obvious bee puns I can think of, but anyway. You've made me so happy. All I want for the rest of my life is to dance in sunlit meadows with you. Come on, let's go right now. Well, that definitely sounds pretty damn romantic. Honey, honey, how you thrill me. Cha la la, honey, honey. Wow, what song is that? And. Okay, I don't care what anyone says. You have a very pretty voice. I'm gonna say that right now, especially when you're singing. Like, I'd love to hear you keep singing this song, not gonna lie. Like. I don't know, I. <laughs> If I have to look up the person who voices Abby, I will, but... I'm just saying right now, all the people who are on Reddit saying that they don't like your voice... Forget them. They don't know what they're missing out on. Have you had your daily dose of vitamin B? It's very important for your well-being, and your well-being is very important to me. You know, because I love you and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of figured that much. Pour some honey on me. Ooh, in the name of love. <laughs> oh, great. Now we're getting all Def Leppard on here. But of course, instead of the Pour some sugar on me. Now we're going with honey. Which, oh boy, that's something else. <laughs> oh. I'd love for you to meet my family. Let's see, if we can keep the introductions to under a minute each, then it should only take about 800 hours for you to meet everyone. Don't worry, I'll make sure there are snacks. How long is 800 hours? I know a thousand hours is probably like close to 42 days, so... Yeah, I'm just like, tch. I'm not going to do the math right now, but that's, well, keeping in mind a thousand hours is like 42 days, you're telling me it's going to take almost a month? Can I just sit on your lap and kiss you? It's all I want right now. Well, you're definitely being very straightforward, aren't you? But at least you're being honest about what you want. When it comes to the ecosystem, us bees are not optional. When it comes to you and me, kissing is not optional. Come on, let's do our due diligence. <laughs> Stop! You're making me do a waggle dance for no reason! <laughs> okay then. Well, so far, I, I I get the feeling that's pretty much most of what she says. You've been buzzing around in my mind all day. Which is a bit weird, seeing as you don't have wings to buzz with. Is that how bees buzz? Because of their wings? Now, see, I never knew this, so... <laughs> well, I mean... I'm not a biologist, so you can't blame me. I studied rocks, not living animals. Or cells and all that. Can I just sit on your lap and 
kiss you? It's all I want right now. <laughs> oh, there you are! I have a romantic surprise for you. It may or may not involve a hundred glowing beeswax candles and an assortment of colorful flower petals scattered across your bed. Follow me. And you're not, and you're not going to be laying on the bed all seductively, are you? Well, anyhow. Okay, let's see. Okay, I might actually be able to do it. So let's see here. Yeah, because unfortunately... The, the Spring Fling event will... Basically, pretty much all the past events have drained me of my diamonds, so... Yeah. I'm just here like... <laughs> what else can I do? Well... I guess nothing to it. So I guess I may just hold off on some of the others. Well, maybe Nightingale I might be able to go through with, but yeah, you know, some of the other ones, maybe not so much. I feel so cute in this! I've never been to school, but if I was, I bet I'd be a straight B student. Is... is that good? Well, it's good, but it's not the best. No, your fingers are so sweet. Let me nibble on them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's not kind of weird. And I don't know what would you call this uniform of sorts. I have no idea. She's got the little beret and everything, and. <laughs> Anyhow, I guess. Let's see. Swimsuit, which we kind of saw a little bit of. I'm pretty sure our bees can't actually swim, and I'm not brave enough to test that theory. I feel really cute in my bikini, though. Bee? <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Stop! You're making me do a waggle dance for no reason! Okay, and let's see. Diamond ring. Oh, sweetie. A wedding is a beautiful thing. But I really can't wait for the honeymoon. <laughs> oh, boy. And... Okay, um... <laughs> Stop! You're making me do a waggle dance for no reason! This almost kind of makes her look like Tinkerbell. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> okay, and then lastly, the holiday outfit. And then I'll be almost bankrupt of any diamonds. And I might have to invest in buying some more after this. Sometime in between now and the future, obviously. A lemon drop and black licorice candy cane? <gasps> decide if I want to eat it or stare at it forever. Oh wow. <laughs> and she's even holding the candy cane right there. Mm. Now, can you stroke my antennae? Ooh, that feels so nice. Okay, why does this make me feel a little weird? <laughs> uh, honey. Abby loves you. Or, I guess you could also say, Honey, I'm in love. Okay, well, anyhow. <laughs> I promise I won't do that again in this video. I can't promise for the future. <laughs> but, okay then, I guess that's about it with Abby so far. So... Yeah, I guess part of the reason why I wanted to go through with her, I mean, was her design, but also just because a lot of people on Reddit were there saying things like, 
you know, I really love her design until I heard her speak, and I'm mean, like, well, come on. And, yeah, I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to go through with her myself, and then I'll be the judge of that. But, well, I guess that's it for Abby right now. I don't know when the next time I'll get to record will be. Who knows, by then, honey might become a thing. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but... Yeah, in the meantime, <laughs> I still have these three, Bree, Ranma, and all these other phone flings down here to go through. The phone fling with Bree being the requirement to even getting her. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, and well, at least right now, I don't even have the diamonds to unlock the last three of them here, so... That's gonna have to wait. But, okay, well, I guess until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with whatever else I do. Stay golden and later, folks.